Welcome back boys and girls. So this week we're going to be drawing. Now this is a step-by-step -step tutorial so in the next part you will be following along. So you are welcome to pause or rewind the video as you please. You will need a pencil, a piece of paper, and something to color with whether that be crayons, markers, or color pencils. Anything that you've got. Alright so stay tuned for the drawing tutorial. Can't wait to see how yours turns out. Alright, so we're going to start by doing the drawing first, and you will need your pencil for this part. And I will guide you through this step by step, so you can feel free to pause or rewind wherever you need to. Alright, so I'm going to start by drawing a very big oval shape or an egg shape. We want it to fill up our whole page. Most of our page. Okay. Now next we're going to draw a very wide M shape, the shape of the letter M here at the top. And then we're going to complete this shape here by drawing another large oval. Just like that. Okay. Next we are going to draw two more ovals here. These are going to be his eyes. And then two smaller ovals. And then we're going to draw a triangle right underneath. This is going to be his little beak. top of his head we're going to draw a little bit of hair, even though penguins don't have hair, but it's cute. All right. Next we're going to draw his wings, kind of looks like a little shark fin. And then we're going to draw his little feet. Alright, now this part is optional, but you can draw a scarf on your penguin by drawing a curved line right here underneath his little beak. We're going to draw another curved line. Then right over here we're going to draw two rectangles. This is going to be the rest of his scarf. One and two. Okay. Let me erase any extra lines that you've got. Then we'll of course add the tassels to our scarf. Oh, excuse me. Then we can add some stripes to his scarf. And you can make this whatever color you'd like. Keep it like a pattern if you'd like. It's up to you. Okay. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw some kind of background. So the way I can do that is I can draw a line back here. So this is sort of like the ground that he's standing on. Okay, And then the rest up here behind him will be the sky. Alright, so here comes the fun part, my favorite part. You get to color him in however you like. It's really up to you on what you want to create. So I'm going to fast forward through my coloring process. So if you want to see the way mine comes out, go ahead and stick around. If not, go ahead and start coloring and I can't wait to see your creations.
and there you have it. My little penguin is all nice and colored in. I made it a little girl penguin and I outlined it with my black crayon and I colored in my background. So I cannot wait to see what you guys will create and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!